What I want to do today uh, in, the, in this lecture is to try and talk about a, a really, I think, very unrecognized but quite massive problem, uh, which has to do with the effects of a car-dependent transportation system on the degree and nature of inequality in the United States. The wealth distribution in the United States is not just reflected in our car system. The poor have crummy cars and the wealthy have nice cars. Um, it's that we have a, uh, a very real sense in which the car system is generating these kinds of inequalities. It's redistributing wealth. So owning a home and owning a nice car are often seen as the very essence of the American dream. That's what you get when you've achieved it. Um, and for a century now, the car companies have been selling us this image. Our theories of inequality would be improved if we, if we took the car into account. Uh, if we include mobility systems along the other issues like education or racial ideologies that are so central to the way we've tended to think about inequality. The lack of access to a car is now more important than anything else, including educational level, including education, for whether or not someone is unemployed. Right? So one can literally say, again, a car is, is uh, an essential, right? uh, almost on the order of food, right? where one, one cannot get by without it. And again, if the car were a small ticket item, this would be a little less of an issue, right? but it is a gigantic ticket item. Overall, the, house, the costs of transportation now are rivaling housing uh, as the cost for households to uh, reproduce themselves. If you look across the quintiles of income, uh, the, the lowest 20% of the income distribution through the highest, you see that as a percentage of the earned income that the families have, the poor and the, the second and the third quintile are, are paying more, but particularly the lowest quintile, uh, paying almost 30% of their earned income. When it's a matter of compulsory consumption, um, people will take desperate measures and in fact often give up their housing before they give up their car and live in their car. Right? Mobility uh, should, I and others think, be reconceptualized as both a human right and as something for which concepts of sustainability and social justice should be at the core. Mobility should not be primarily about more, better, faster movement for all, but rather about ways of moving less or at least differently, as Sean Sideway put it, and certainly with more equity between those who move 